so I ended up doing a trench uh, to bury the wire for the electric gate. Um, went ahead and buried it first, even though this was all going to get dug back up. Um, that way, it didn't affect my neighbors. So I didn't have a you know a electrical wire just laying across the grass because um, basically the crew was coming to install the get right iron gate and electronics faster than I was probably going to be able to build the, I think it's like 53 feet of uh, fencing that's going to tie this all this this whole project in together. So real quick, after I, you know, talked to the guy and got a price on the gate and everything, um, I went ahead and ran the electrical, got that out of the way. That way he could come whenever he wanted and get started. So right now what I was doing is I was just uh, compacting the ground after I made the trench, just running it back and forth uh, with the truck. So I ended up just tying the electrical into the garage. Um, took a little time. My garage is fully insulated, so I had to take the plywood off, pull the insulation off, um, bore through the two by fours, and then just ran everything kind of behind the wall there and tied it into an existing um, GFI outlet. Here we got all our posts set. Um, I'm getting ready to run the stringers across and then uh, go pick up a bunch of pickets. Kind of did this in stages. Um, seems like every time we were trying to do something here, it would start raining. Got all the pickets installed. Um, did this in one day. We cut each one because I wanted to use a rot board. What I was tying into was only six feet to start with. Didn't want to change anything with that. So as my wife was cutting, I was installing, and we knocked this out pretty quick. Um, for, for what it was. Turned out real good. We have to use cedar for our neighborhood, so that's western red cedar. And it follows the natural um, kind of grade going downhill for the driveway. Turned out real good. Neighbors were happy with it, and uh, we're happy with it. Since I started this little project, all it does is rain here. So, trying to level this out. Keeping a small little bit of dirt there because I don't want to concrete around the post all the way to the driveway just in case the post has to be replaced at some point. Got my drill pump. Doing extra duty down there. I pumped this thing out twice already. And then as soon as I finish pumping it out, rain comes again. Picked up one of these mixers from Harbor Freight, 200 bucks. And we are about to start the concrete. All right, so we're on concrete pool. Technically number three. We've done this big section, which I think it's like 12-ish foot. A small section here. Today we're going to try to do this other 12 foot section. I'm following the uh, length of the joints in the driveway. So we got two more to go, then this side's done, and then we're going to do this as well because there's no point in having that little strip there. We've had pretty good luck with it. I've done this already long long time ago um, this was all grass and dirt and mud and I concreted that and then we put it in this little outdoor shower I'll put a link in that uh, description below for this video long time ago yeah so we're gonna get this one formed up start pouring it and see how it goes all right so we almost got it all formed up just put a few little rebar chairs down that'll be it our goal was to leave the post out of the pour. That way when this fence gets replaced, we won't have to bust into the driveway.
Okay, so we're day 67. No, I don't know how many days, but we do one big section each weekend for the last couple weekends, so we're almost done with the big sections. That's the last one. Every fucking day, this guy. This guy that costs a lot of money and gas. Jesus. It's hard being a YouTuber. We're gonna go ahead and do this little section too, I think today, because this section's only like, it's a little bit shy of 11 feet. These have been 12, 12, 12, and of course that one down there was a lot smaller. But we're gonna knock this little section out too. Um, never have. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> God. We're gonna do this little section here too. Um, as you can see, it's just grass and it's always been kind of a pain just to mow and edge and weed eat just this little small section. And before I get any comments and experts about I shouldn't pour concrete up to the slab, I've done this at our previous house and I've done it here for the outdoor shower and nothing ever happened. It didn't crack or anything. Uh, the lights we ended up liking um, for the gate did not have a suitable mount for what we uh, for how we wanted to mount them basically and i ended up using some tie wire and some scrap metal to weight these down where they'll fit inside uh, fit down inside the post and i'm running a bead of uh, black silicone around the base of this light where it sits down inside the post and that will work these are solar powered um not too, too bright, but just enough for what we wanted. And uh, they actually worked out really good. There it is. All right, getting closer and closer to completing this project. Got some of our rock in. We severely underestimated how much rock we were gonna need, but that's the look we wanted this is the this was the idea the whole time keep the fence post out of the concrete driveway itself that way when the fence has to be replaced not a problem and then i don't want to have to mow or edge or weed eat none of this stuff so we put a weed barrier down this tin bags got us from there to there so we got a little bit more ways to go not bad and then back here i've got stuff to do a, i'm gonna do a drain because we do get a lot of water off the roof and it gets kind of stuck behind here so i'm going to put a drain here and then it's just going to run out this way and then it'll just filter through and then it'll follow grade all the way down out to the street Hardest part about this project, I'm thinking, was, was pretty much digging everything out. I dug down about four inches deep. And digging all that out by hand, that was that was a task. Just joking. A buddy of mine came by with a skid steer. We're finally wrapping up our driveway project. Um, got all the rocks in. We went ahead and put a small little drain. Three inch down to two inch, 90s over. Goes out this way. Just gonna follow that natural flow line. And that's pretty much it. We've been getting some breaks in the rain. It's been raining here since the hurricane hit. But we ended up using 20, 22 bags of rock is what this was. And they're small bags, but they're about 10 bucks a piece. So it, it adds up. But that's it. That's the look. We got our lights mounted here. Looks good. This has all been poured. 
this was just grass and dirt. I got tired of it, but that's it. Only thing left to do at some point, I'm going to uh, surface clean all the old concrete. And yeah, that's it. And then we got some solar lights. Those work real good too. But yeah, that wraps it up. That's where I've been for the last, uh, I don't know. We worked on this every weekend for, I don't know, I guess about two months, but you know, some breaks in the weather or some starts and stops because of weather. But so now the C10, when it is finished, um, it's ready to come here. It'll go in this garage. My daily driver will go out here. This gives us extra room to have multiple cars in and out without having to uh, move them around constantly like we did with the single driveway. But that's it. Hope you enjoyed the quick video. Thanks everybody for watching. Subscribe, like, share, ring the notification bell. Have a good one. See you on the next one.